It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest name on 2K in existence. And look, I'm gonna show y'all a new dribble tutorial, new speed glitches, not known, okay? And I'm gonna give you the best dribble moves for every height, every dribble rating, and every play style, man. So y'all gonna wanna make sure y'all watch this full video. Make sure you subscribe if you know we're gonna keep you put on with that 2K sauce. Y'all be sure to give me 500 likes, man. I do not even want to show these moves, especially the speed glitches. But y'all get this video to a thousand likes, man. I'll show y'all more speed glitches. I don't even do how I can really play on streams. I don't want Mike Wang to keep patching the game. Okay. Look, I'm going to show y'all the swan step. I'm putting y'all on salts. People are putting um on other hop jumpers just the speed glitch. I'm going to give you the salts. Okay. The swan step. All knowing swan. Okay. You still use the best hop jumper in the game, Kyle Lowry. Okay. Now, your dominant hand, all you're going to want to do is go downward, oppo ball hand. Okay. So in this case, southwest. And you're going to hold it. And you're going to get this animation right here. Okay. And then you are going to be in the unconscious state. The speed glitch. You will have to reactivate it every possession. And then you are in an unconscious state. And you will be dribbling much faster. As you can see, I'm glitching, okay? You know, it's like a jerk, okay? Like you could do these moves normally, but this is the this is the glitch. You know, I've been keeping this under wraps. All your moves, they're gonna be way faster, okay? You're gonna be going way faster. Is this size up spam? All you do is hold your left analog down and flick your right stick west to east man you see now you need stay steve francis i'm gonna show you all my dribble moves don't worry also when you get steve francis you could do auto crabs by not even pressing turbo just oh 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 all right stick no turbo nice little crab man Mm. Mm. Now here are my dribble moves right here for y'all that's gonna be asking currently. Now if you wanna do a big step back with Kyle Lowry, you're gonna want to go offhand and hold the right analog down, as you can see. You see you step back real far. If you go this way, it's not as far. But if you go offhand, Wait, hold on. You see, it's slow. But if you go off and wait, I keep letting go. You just gotta hold it. You see? Now the crab people trying to blitz you to the side. All you do is you just hit your escape twice. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One. One, You know, when they try to blitz you to the side, you get the qu quick little crab and then you can shoot. Bing, 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 bing. Now to do a popular move that was in hella 2Ks, you gotta have on the Luka step back. As y'all can see, I got the Luka on, you see? It's not as good as Zach Levine with the snatch back, but you know, you get you get, you get get some di different things. But look, all you're gonna wanna do is sprint. Well, you can't go back here anymore. That's, I didn't know this. All you're gonna wanna do is be holding your left stick up and flick your right analog down. You sprinting, bang. You know, it's an instant crab you shoot, okay? They used to call it the Asta slide. I'm not a fan of calling dribble moves after people because I ain't got my credit in none of these two Ks. <laughs> okay, especially the early ones when I taught everyone how to goddamn dribble in ISO. There was no damn swan, nothing. Now, all my dribble tutorials, you should actually watch the dribble section because I show y'all different moves in each dribble tutorial. So go back and look at all of them if you need more help dribbling with any type of build and I'll put you on to the sauce, man. Now to do the combo move cheese that gets you right in front of your guy, all you're gonna wanna do is go one way, hit your right analog that same way east. And, and for me, you know, cause I'm right-handed, hit it east and then hit it west. You see? 
East West. It puts you right in front of them. This is also another move I do not like telling people. Because Mike Wayne, you know. It's real cheesy, bro. It really gets you in front of people, man. Now, if you want to uh, for sure quick stop, if you don't just want to flick up on your right stick, you can actually pass fade. You know, just run. <laughs> and you'll stop every time. If you got stick drift or something, just run. <laughs> every time, every time. Oh. Oh. How am I missing? I don't even know what jump shot I got on. Oh. You know, just running. Oh. So just out of anywhere, man, say you just, you know, you. You're not trying to fake. Uh, oh, put you on sauce. Hey, y'all be sure to turn on your noties. Check out my random videos, man. They are absolutely hilarious. If you want Rage Taj content, man. This one most people is rocking. It's the fastest speed boost. It has an L cross launch. And you only need an 85 speed with ball. But if you're a little guard, we're going to get into the uh, bigger builds after this. This is the one you want to be rocking. Now, Westbrook, another top one. You only need an 87. And you can speed boost almost as good as Garland. But you kind of have different angles. It kind of has a better cross launch a little. But not nothing too much, you know. Now, look, another one that's not in here is De'Aaron Fox. When that hole come out, it has has a crazy cross launch but you can't speed boost as good so yeah y'all might want to be on the lookout for that trey young is also an, another top tier one it's up there with uh garland and westbrook i would say westbrook's better it's good for speed boosting but the cross launch is horrible you get certain particular angles with it now for signature size up i think pull is the best i know everyone's rocking trey young maybe it is the best but the top three is pull trey young and derrick rose i think you get less of a pause with pool i don't I don't know if i'm tripping y'all can lab it up too most people's using young but i think you get less of a pause with young uh with pool bro i don't know and look there's a lot of pretty decent regular combos guys if you are lost for six just put curry on anything they are double twist and curry they're on their knees for him back now my favorite personally is isaiah thomas you see how he going crazy Derek rose is a nice one white's a nice one you could burst out this right here that reminds me of that 19 garland a nice one now for your aggressive my favorite one is ja moran Bull got a nice one. You know, you're going crazy with this. Booker's a stage cheese. It's pretty good. You know, it's how you can just split defenders, doubling you like between screens and stuff. Thomas is cool. Yeah. Now your escape moves. Curry's the best one. Don't want to use Curry. I'm the Fox when it come out. Uh, Kyrie's pretty decent. <laughs> No, Fox is cool. Kyrie's cool. But Curry's the best, yo. Now, my favorite combo move is Zach Levine. John Morant's right after. They're damn near the same thing. It's like the uh, Harden from last year. It's kind of like the go-to shot, kind of. Like John Morant go-to shot. But, you know, these are the two. Curry's another nice one. You know, he's kind of, you know, but you don't really need this because of, um, you got so many normal crosses. Now look, the best crossover is out there, man. I ain't want to tell you. It's Chris Paul, man, for the little builds. Then uh, once you get starter four, it's another crossover that's even better. And it's the John Wall cheese, basically. Lillard's another good one, but Chris Paul for now. Zach Levine's kind of one that you don't really get ripped with. So like if you're a bigger build, you know you could do that one too. But I'm rocking Chris Paul. Now the best behind the back is Trey Young. I like it more than Garland. Garland, you kind of go up. Uh, seems like that's more rippable. But uh top behind the backs garland young but I, I say young better young let's go to garland garland does have like a kind of better moving than trey but i think young is better now normal's also another good one the super big uh builds that are seven three get this with 40 ball handle it's kind of crazy but yeah now my favorite spin is garland trey young's another nice one so is the terry a or roser and so is steve nash those is like your top four. Now, my favorite uh, hesitation is Tyrese. Okay, there's some cheese I'm going to be showing y'all. Another meta one is the Kobe White. That's how you do like some crazy spam stuff. I already showed y'all that in my other video. That's a dribble tutorial. I'm going to be linking the uh, other dribble tutorials down below if you want to check those out. But another good hesitation would be Chris Paul. Garland's decent too, but overall, you know, I'll be messing with Tyrese. Now, for your step backs, bro, Zach Levine's the best. It's the new LeBron. 
Now to do the stuff that the stage guys be doing, the uh, meta snatch and like oppo misdirection, it is Tyrese, by the way. I don't, you know, that's cool, it's cute. You know, maybe if you got a certain team, but this is just the best, man. Get hella space off it. Another good one is Luca. When you go to the side, um, you get something that Zach Levine's not really like. But uh, the step back's a little slower than Levine, but it's still cool. Uh, Devin Booker's another good snatch back. Now for your go-to shots, man, John Morant. That's your best one. Curry's another good one. Okay. You see? You go crazy with it. <laughs> okay. It's for the little ones. Now for your hop jumper. Jordan Clarkson. Lori is another one for little builds. Ari and Clarkson. Normal too. You can speed glitch out of like anything. Oh, you could do the speed glitch out of the Clarkson too. I'm going to have to show you. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Look, the best dribble style for 6'5 plus builds. I would say this is number one because you can do a cheesy left right spam that I showed in my past dribble tutorials. And if you can't get this or don't want to, this one's almost just as good. Yes, this would be the second best dribble style if you wanna do that left right cheese, okay? That real nice boost you just now, if you don't want to do that, then these two wouldn't be at the top, but Zeon still would be. Zeon's probably like top two, three, no matter what, but it has a left, right cheese, so it, you know, it's super high. Then other than that, then you got the Devin Booker and the Jalen Green. I'll put Booker over the green, but uh, so it's like Booker cool, but you can't do this. You can't do the left, right cheese, bro. Like you can, but you get weird angles. It's not just straight compy angles. So, you know, it's up to you, but those are your four. Your best six size up would be Cade. Levine's cool too. It's another top one. They're basically on the same level. Drew Holiday's good. Ben Simmons is good. Those are Look, you know, got some slow ones in there. Ben Simmons is cool. Kawhi is another top one. I would put it on the same level as like, uh, I would say Cade and Levine are the best. Uh, I only like Kobe, bro. I ain't gonna hold. KD's okay. Ah, they're pretty trash on this. Now your aggressive could be that split, you know, but hey. So that's a pretty good one. Probably my favorite ones would be Tatum's and then KD's. See, you move around a little bit. Rance is cool too. Now for your escapes, Kobe's the best. This is the one you're gonna use, man. It's just above all else. Do that Kobe uh walk back. And then I guess Jimmy would be the second one. They kind of nerfed it. But yeah, these are the two ones you're gonna be wanting to stick with. You're more stuck in your animation more with Butler. Now the best combo move is Levine, okay? Now your best crossovers to me, I would say Levine and then Booker. Levine, you kind of get a weird angle and you don't get ripped. And it kind of puts you behind them all the time. You know how to cheese it. So I'd say Levine number one and then Booker. You get an angle with Booker too. So yeah, I would say that's number two. Now, the best behind the back to me is Paul George. Most people you know are probably walk rocking Kawhi. That's another top one. Levine kind of decent, but um, Paul George is the best. And then Kawhi. Okay, two great spins. I'd say Kobe Bryant and then Steve Nash. Now, the best hesitation to me is Tyrese. All because it's instant L2 cancel. You know, Jimmy Butler, decent. You know, KD. But I, I just think this is the best one. Now, the best step back is Zach Levine. Then you could say Luca and Booker. This is my favorite go-to shot. Y'all let me know y'all's favorite go-to shot. Here's my favorite hop jumper. And you can use normal too. That's the speed glitch. For you to spam speed glitch. Here's everything all together. Y'all be sure to follow me on Twitch, man. Lord Baby Hawk. The super big builds. I would say these are the best sigs for you overall. Basically, just pick normal for everything when you make them crazy big builds. And you glitch it, my boy. You could damn near move and look like a guard. It's crazy. Y'all click on the video on the screen. Y'all want to see how people are exploit glitching on NBA 2K20 ruining the game. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Hey, here we go again. People talking this for witness hit the fan. Everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome. dome.